That just doesn't make any sense. Bridget shouldn't be blaming her father or herself for Jason's death. No. She should be blaming me. What? Why? Well, I was the one that asked her to come to dinner that night. I was the one that convinced Jason to cover her at work. I trust you what was so important about that vision, night? Considering finals are in less than a month. If you haven't started yet, I don't entirely know how you're going to catch up, but I suggest you get a move on. You're in one of the best, if not the best, law school in the country. You have all the resources you need at your disposal. Excuse me. Good morning, class. I apologise for the interruption. This morning, the faculty was informed of some devastating news. Unfortunately, last night at 5 p.m., Vicky Lee decided to take her life at a family home. As we are all aware, depression and other mental illnesses are prominent in the legal society, which is why we insist on teaching you all about the signs, the helplines, what you can do for yourselves and others. Unfortunately, it was too late for Vicky, but it's not too late for you. Now, I know exams are looming, but I have cancelled the rest of the day's classes and have allocated every single one of you a time with the university counsellor. I am truly sorry for your loss. We will be holding a university charity event in honour of Vicky. And I hope that you can all attend. for the last two years and we both competed for presidency. Now your file says that your parents are still together. Yep. Tell me about your relationship with them. Wonderful. They've been nothing but supportive of all my life decisions. They don't put pressure on you to do well? No, not at all. I think they realise I do that enough myself. <laughs> and what about your brother? How's your relationship with him? Chris. Chris, stop it. It doesn't have to you be... You don't right. believe me then, do you? You need help. Let Mum and Dad help you. I'm not going through this again. Just give me I the don't joke. think he's joking this time, Chris. Get... Chris! If you go out that door this time, young man, you are not... No, will none of you believe me! How could I possibly stay here? Did you know Vicky well, Leonardis? Um, not really. We slept together once. But, but I was really drunk. We were really drunk and I don't think she'd even remember. Was that too honest? How did you know Vicky? Sorry, no, I, I didn't really know her at all. You seem a little preoccupied. Is there anything on your mind? All right, so tell me, what was so important that I now owe Jason big time for tonight? <sighs> this. What? I know it's crazy. I know it is, but... I love you, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So? Bridget Knox, will you marry me?
Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Sorry, where were we? It's your dad. Might be important. Hello, Daddy? What? Oh my god. Hello? Oh, fuck. Uh, um... We'll be right there. Okay. You don't have to say anything now. So where do you think this stems from? Well, when we were younger, Cam and I thought our dads were superheroes, you know? They protected the people that couldn't protect themselves. That night, I realised everything that I believe in. Everything I ever aspired to was a lie. He defends criminals, murderers, drug dealers, and my whole existence has been funded by- Then there's the pressures from uni, the pressures from mooting, the pressures from presidency. And I won, but I still wasn't happy. And, and, and I'm not ready to be a father. I mean, I can't even look after myself. I truly dislike him as a parent. Pressures to do well, pressures to look good. So I was like, what's going on here? And on top of all of this, I'm pretty sure I'm going to jail for witnessing and signing a false document. As you know, my mom will say, Leon, I this. Why are you not take over the dry cleaning business like your father? Yes, I entirely blame him for Jason's death. 100%. to know. Maybe a little bit, but not to the extent that you guys made it out to be. We were worried. You thought I was gay. No, it's got nothing to do with that. We, we couldn't care less what sexual orientation you were. You were showing signs, Chris. We have a history of depression in our family. And I sure as hell wasn't going back to that clinic. Get out. That's exactly what I said. Listen, Frankie, Look, I, um, I know Bridget told you and you don't have to. Just, just let me get this out, alright? Listen, I love you, you know I do, and having a child together is a massive responsibility, especially at 20, and fuck, it scares the shit out of me, but the decision is entirely yours, and if that decision is to keep it, then I'll be here for you. I'll be the daddy to your baby, <laughs> but um. We'll raise it together. Even if it is Mr. Harrison's. If I see him again, hey, I swear Leo. I'm gonna... Sorry, I mean, how good looking is this kid gonna be, right? I... Leo. Oh. Oh. Um, well, that's probably for the best, right? Uh, I mean, we wouldn't make good parents, and it's ludicrous. I mean, it's just... You're the best. She's a friend of a friend, but... Oh, okay. Like, I, we used to hang out a lot. Would you go to uni? Darling, not try. Oh, okay. It's just a minute. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad that I tried. He's not good enough for you.
He's not good enough for me? Bridget, come on. No, you have no right to say that. He's a bogan. He isn't good enough for you. And who is? You? No, you promised me, remember? You gave me your blessing. I know what I said, but I can't. <laughs> You're unbelievable! Okay, you know what, Cameron? Why don't you just let me know when I can be happy again, hey? No, this isn't fair. Not to me and not to Lara. Bridget, I love you. I can't help it. 